Welcome back to week two of Roller Coaster Science. Have you ever ridden one of those roller coasters that goes upside down in the loop-de-loop? -loop? And have you ever hung upside down in the loop from there, terrified, wondering, hey, why the heck am I not falling out? Well, there's a good reason for it, and it's something called centripetal force. <laughs> So centripetal force, what is it? Well, let's start by thinking about a simpler situation. Let's pretend you're in a roller coaster car and you're going along a track that's flat, but then the track bends upward sharply. Well, your momentum wants to carry you horizontally, but when you get to this bend in the track, it has to apply a force to change the direction of your momentum because Newton's first law, an object in motion tends to stay in motion. That's right, good job. So. As this roller coaster car is going along, there's no net force acting on it. But then as soon as it hits the track, well, there's a force acting on it to change the momentum of the roller coaster car. And the track pushes up, and then you and the roller coaster car push down on the track because, what? Newton's law of motion? That's right. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So as the track pushes you up, you push down on the track. Now, let's say you have that track, but instead of just bending one time, it bends many times. Well, you're feeling that little momentary force every time it changes direction. Same force, same idea, you're just feeling it a lot more times. Well, now let's say that instead of some number of bends in the track, it bends continuously. It's one smooth curve in a circular loop. So you're traveling, changing direction. Travel a little bit, changing direction. And it's continuous. Because if you're always changing direction, there always has to be a force applied to you, right? Otherwise, you'd keep going in a straight line, but you're not, so there must be a force somewhere. And that continuously applied force around the circle is called centripetal force. So as you're going around the loop-de-loop, -loop, the track is applying a force to you, and you are pushing back into the track. And that pushing back into the track is why you don't fall out when you're upside down. Let's watch. Centripetal force! <laughs> 